everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Duck Detective The Secret Salami. It is a, it's a puzzle mystery. It's a hard-boiled puzzle mystery about a duck down on his luck solving mysteries about salami. I'm not entirely sure. It's fully voice acted, so I'm just going to be kind of, I'm going to be hanging out for at least a portion of this, which is nice. My voice has been through the ringer this week. Life wasn't easy. I was a freshly divorced duck, not able to pay next month's rent. Not that I had paid for it this month yet. My brain felt foggy, and I was trying to remember where did all my money go? I had to retrace last night's steps. I really like this font. It looks nice, but also the way they handle G's is really cool. Deductions are a vital part of a def detective's work. Oh, find a Find clue words by questioning persons and inspecting your surroundings. Enter clue words into the blank spaces to solve deductions. The nest egg. Rent. Find more clues. Spent money on blank for blank. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll probably just play keyboard and mouse for this one. I won't be needing this badge anymore. I guess I can keep it as a souvenir. My wow. new job as the duck detective isn't going any better, though. <sighs> Well, if things keep going badly, I can always sell it online. Big ups? The thing is, this game is fully voice acted. I would, oh, the chair is sticking through our hat. That's funny. Uh, but I was expecting the voice acting to dip off, but no, it's, it's full. I like that. No messages. This fresh smell. Oh, sweet smell. Bungee loaf. Oh, you keep me safe at night. <laughs> I. It's laid out in such a way that it's supposed to look like a bottle of hooch or something. Well, maybe not hooch, but, you know, whiskey or, or whatever. But no, it's just bread. It's just bread. <sighs> he I sighs. took that photo of her in a secluded tulip field. We spoke for hours under the stars that night and now she doesn't even answer my texts i guess i don't even have to do the narration he did sigh out loud sorry it's hard to get over being used to like narrating and voice acting for games but when uh when that's taken from me i don't know what to do i can't believe anna actually filed the divorce papers second overdue notice I wonder at what point they start kicking people out. I have everything I need to solve this now. Okay, so... Anna, the duck detective, spent his money on bread. No, probably tulips for Anna. Two or fewer things are long. wrong. Two bread for himself, never mind. Uh, not my proudest moment. But the toast helps me to forget. Okay, I've rebalanced the audio, so hopefully he's going to be a bit louder than everything else. Anna! I'm a different duck now. I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. You have to believe me! <clears throat> oh. Yeah, you're speaking to the duck detective. Ouch. Let's discuss this in person. Now, be there in an hour. Wow. How down on your luck do you have to be to shout at a random stranger like that? I spent more than half of my remaining cash on the bus fare. And here I was, in front of Bear Bus Office. Some sort of... Rundown coal center. I better crack this case, or I won't even have enough money to make it back home. Huh, there's a koala. I'm staying here until I get my money back! Bear bus? Huh, more like scam bus! You, uh, sound unhappy. You bet I am! Their stupid buses always arrive late! I came back from a work trip to the west and arrived here at three in the morning! And they don't even want to give me a refund. 
How much did you pay? Um, two schmark. <laughs> but that's not the point! It's about the principle. It seems like there's a lot of stuff with notes on it here. Water bottles, too. Interesting. Wait, was that duck share 95% of the DNA makeup I can already with tell based on her face that the receptionist was a tough one. She wouldn't make life easy for me. But I had to make my way into the office. I'm the duck detective. I'm here to investigate a case. Okay. Do you work here? Um, no. Well, then I can't let you in. But I've been hired by someone from Bearbus. Who hired you? Um, I didn't catch their name. Listen, buddy. You better get out of here, or I'll have to call security. There's always more to people than you might think. I should take a closer look and figure out what she's about. Inspection. Magnifying glass to find clues. Press E to uncover them. Seventh. Today. Oh, okay. Nope. Smiley. Happy. Giraffe. Cute. Tomorrow is Friday. Need to remember to collect my dry cleaning. I'm gonna switch back to controller. It seems like it's better set up for it. Okay. I swear to God, if someone steals my mug again, I'll end them. Oh, dang. Laura from... Here, I'm gonna grab this. First, first name, Laura. Laura from CS is way too loud. I can hear her keyboard all the way to my desk. It's Sophie's birthday next Thursday. Just saying. Suggestions box. So I'm missing some crucial detail that is... What am I missing on this one? Because it's not like it's hiding there. Oh, Sophie's got it. These are quite mundane. I'm surprised nobody wrote something more scandalous. Okay, so we've got the door. Nobody added to clues. Okay, so they are... Windheimer. They have a boy band keychain. That's interesting that uh, they actually have like a whole second and much more like uh, much more high effort portrait that shows up with the uh, with the magnifying glass. So, for example, normally no fingers here. Fingers with th fingernails, which is actually a little weird considering giraffe, but that's a neat way of handling attention to detail. It kind of makes sense, too, because, like, you know, usually when you're looking at a person, you're missing a lot of these details, but... I should be able to deduce her name now. Okay, so we can't go through. I guess we'll just talk to her. You're still here? No. Oh. Oh, I'll I, leave you alone. I have to do a deduction. Detective work isn't... You need to pay oh, attention. There that's must a clue. have been something I overlooked. I had to re... I was sure. Okay, wrong one. It's this button. This button. Okay, the entrance. Uh, let's see. The duct de detective is feeling... Sat. Be oh, okay. Hold up. Has stolen her... Hold up. We're missing something. How do we deduce? Oh, here we go. This is how we dedu deduce. Uh, I'm gonna s snag this again. 
Okay, it's Sophie's birthday. From CS, unless it's customer service. But, so it's probably just nobody remembers her birthday. Okay, Sophie. Windtimer. Yep, looks I like it. I should be able to figure out what's going on with her. I need to check my notes in the deduction section. Alright, so entrance. Sophie is feeling sad because her... Oh, because nobody has remembered her birthday. Ah, that's why she's making such a face. I should try and cheer her up. You're still here? I'm just here to wish you a happy birthday. <gasps> How did you know? Just another one of Duck Detective's great did. Productions. Huh? Uh, anyway, that was really nice of you. No one else remembered. Can you believe it? If you know my birthday, you must have a connection to someone here. Here's the key card to the office. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Dude could be quite the criminal. You could have just told me you know someone here. Not sure why you acted so weird with all the detective business. I... But he is? I don't know. Ducks are 70% more likely to solve crimes. What? Oh boy. A stained carpets and peeling wallpaper exuded a stench of stale coffee and abandoned dreams. Ouch. I knew I couldn't stay long or it would rub off on me. <laughs> Wow. The Redderson needs to be fired! I'll see what I can do. Who are you? Do you have a problem? If you have one, just call our damn hotline. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, the duck detective. A client hired me to investigate a case. <sighs> Why didn't you just say so? It's time we put an end to the awful lunch death. All we need to fire him is some evidence for the upper management. I'll be in my office. First, I had to find out who works here and what their jobs are. I needed to find my client as well. Thankfully, I remembered the piece of paper I had in my jacket from taking notes during the call. Okay, client note get. So, suspects, client note, hastily wrote this. Well, that's, can I read it? Tricky deductions might require new perspectives so we can get extra guidance at any time. Well, let's stop by, oops, whatever. Damn, those eyes, strained eyes, possible insomniac. Different brand, own headset, dedicated. Energy drink, bad habits. This is, um, a person well beyond their last legs. She answers the call. This is Bear Bus. How can I help you? Ugh, this is the third time you're calling. I'm telling you, your ex-wife did not cancel your booking! She, uh, looks busy. I like the mixture of 2D assets and 3D models. It's a good mixture. Uh, it has kind of a very lived-in vibe, obviously, and kind of cozy. Uh, but also just works. I also love the fact that there's not really much for animations. It's just, you know, uh, 2D characters uh, just wobbling along. In the case of Duck Detective or everybody else just going up and down. I'm just going to cause a mess, aren't I? Oh, well. The two desks on this side look unused. I'm just going to look around for a bit. It's a list of all the bus drivers. The most busy driver out of all four seems to be Petrovich. Hollandaise. Station Hollandaise. Brezel. Not entirely sure what I'm investigating out of this one. Apart from just like a bunch of locations. Also, these are all food things? Well, Escargot is 
food. Hollandaise is food. I don't know what Brezel or Selassie is. Their buses don't go very far. Thick glasses, strong percept prescription, bad eyesight. Laura. Okay, so this is not the one they want fired. Probably. I just see the salami in the bag, and considering this is called the secret salami, like it feels like that would be relevant, but I suppose not. So what am I missing here? Shoe. Velcro shoes. Lame. Ouch. This is rude. Cash payment. Mr. Brandenburg. Extra pepper salami. Uh, let's see. Anything here? No. Oh, there it is. Spotless. That's a lot of salami. I guess salami probably doesn't... I... That wasn't enough. Oh well. Okay, so what do we have here? Whitlock. Last name. Okay. Me in sexy aliens? What? <laughs> Hold up. I wonder if there are clues to her password. I don't think I have enough information to crack it yet. Okay. Can I we go shouldn't through? go. I need to okay. find out who. The Did I remember to write down? I guess I should go talk to the the alligator. Alligator or crocodile? Not sure. Probably alligator. I'm the only one here in the operating office. Can you imagine? I plan all the bus routes and make sure the buses are on time. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Don't you have an angry customer shouting outside about the buses being late? I, uh... Really? Okay. Key. No, that's interrogate. Okay, and I don't think we have anything useful at the moment. Yeah, the suspects. We don't have nearly enough. Okay, go to the kitchen. Are we just going to go through the entire here office? Here must be the crime scene. First, I want to find out who the people in the office are. It will make things e I'll need to remember to write everything. Okay. Let's see, interrogate question? What is your relationship with Sophie Windheimer? Excuse me for a second. Oh man, I don't know how I'd survive the office without her. Sucks that she's at the reception. I would have loved to have her in the office. Yes, please collect your toddler from the bus station. I need to ask you some questions. No, I'm sorry, you can't take your 12 trombones on the bus. What? Can't you see I'm talking to a customer? It's company policy. Nothing I can do. Goodbye. Do you know anything about who called me here? What are you talking about? Listen. I have a million more emails to answer, and there are hmm, 50 people in the phone queue. I have worked 10 days in a row, including three night shifts, and Manfred still doesn't want to give me a raise! Just leave me a piece! So, you have no clues for me? Yeah! Wow, they did a good, did a good job with her. Okay. I talked oh, to him again. Hello! <laughs> How are you, Mr. Duck Detective? Huh, you knew who we were. Do you have any idea who picked me to investigate? <laughs> no idea, but I'm so happy you're here. I have a copy of your book, The Early Bird Catches the Criminal. Can you sign it? <sighs> I... <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. Woo! <laughs> Thanks so much, Mr. Duck Detective. I won't ever forget this. This will become a core memory. <sighs> okay, nothing particularly useful off of him yet. Can I go back out the other way? Yes, I can. S 
So, do you have an idea who would have hired me? It's about the incident, isn't it? Um, sorry. No idea. Okay, so nothing useful. No stay out. It says server room. It's locked. Okay, well, we're not going in there anytime soon. Or maybe we are. We'll find out. This is charming. It's... Oh, what was the other one? There was a frog detective game that kind of had similar vibes. I think this one's a little bit deeper. Oh, hello. Okay. What? Layout. Lazy. Insert photo. Rude. We still don't know who Freddy is. And I think he's the one that is being suspect suspected. Stop at the post-its. Oh, employee of the month. Oh, yeah, it is just last name. I'm not sure I'd feel particularly appreciated. Okay, oh right, this is the bear's office. The dimly lit room seemed to promise well-kept secrets and rumors. What a fancy nameplate. It says Ernst. Oh, is that how it's pronounced? I always thought it was Ernst. It's a letter for an application for a promotion to senior customer service agent, signed by L. Ernst. What are you doing with my family's portrait? S sorry. Okay. Oh. Well, that's cute. So, twins. Oh, there was something down here. Oh, framed. High quality. Interesting. Not much about the mother. Or wife? Yes, yeah, spotless. Oh, there it is. Hinge. Secret compartment. Is it normal to have a huge painting of your family in your office? Okay, can't do anything with that yet. Was it you who called me? No. I never heard of you before. That's unusual. It's good you're here, since there has been some... unrest. Okay, let's look at him first. Messy. Tiny little shoes, but go figure. I really like the fact that there are two portraits for every character. That is super cool. Angie Brow. Okay, now we talk. How are the detective things going, Mr. Detective? It's Mr. McQuacklin. Right. Apologies. Um. Are you planning on staying in my office much longer? I'll have to inspect the entire premise to do my job correctly. <sighs> well, hurry up. Okay, so it doesn't seem like we have much I can do here. So if we met everybody. Well, okay. First and foremost, I guess what I should probably do... He's Ernst. But we don't know the rest. We know that they are angst. And we know they are... I thought they were Laura, oddly enough. Let's see, custom mug. No, Laura's mug with a paw print. Oh, so maybe they are the... Okay, hold up. So maybe they are the person. Shell, do you want to just grab a microphone? She's sitting behind me and grunting to backseat a little bit. Okay. So Rufus Sedaris. Freddy sucks. But we don't know who they are. Insert photo here. Let's 
let's take a look. What else do we have? Not too much. Okay. We do have some useful information, kind of, sort of, but not really. So this is suspicious bag filled with salami next to the crocodile's desk. Okay. Laura from CS is way too loud. I can hear her keyboard all the way to my desk. It's Sophie's birthday today. And if someone steals my mug again, I will end them. I'm assuming... Laura, Laura's gotta be Laura Angst. I guess there's no reason for me not to just guess. Yeah. And I think they called him Rufus. Nope, wasn't Rufus. Manfred? Which means... Freddy. Because this one was Rufus Sedaris, so it's... They're probably Freddy... Petrovich. Nope. Frederson? Oh, of course they're Freddy Frederson. Okay. So now we try talking to them. This is Bear Bus. How can I help you? Uh, your yarn ball is still on the bus. Which route were you on? Okay. Oh, we can ask them about the other people now that we have their names. Can you tell me more about Freddy Frederson? Let me put you on hold while I find the route for you. Freddy? He gets paid more than me. Can you imagine that? What an incompetent waste of office space. Hello, this is Laura again. I checked the bus routes and found that. What do you think about Manfred Ernst? Oh, he's a great guy. I just wish I'd finally get a raise. Yes, yeah, sorry, this is Bear Bus. Your bus will be three hours late. Wow, three hours late. H how? What do you know about Manfred Ernst? I think he likes me. He's the only one who doesn't shout at me. I'm the only one here in the operating office. I'm playing all the bus <laughs> Isn't that- Don't you ever- Okay. Really? So that's about the extent of that. We still have the mystery person. I don't think we can unlock it. Now we've already got that. The PC is on, but the person who works at this desk seems to be on a break. They only have a single person answering the hotline right now? That's surprising. We're finding some more bits. Let's go talk to Ernst quick. Folding a duck more than seven times is impossible. That's slightly horrifying. What do you know about Laura Angst? Oh, she's a fantastic employee. She basically does the work of five people. That's rough. Uh, you're still here. I have a feeling you're not enjoying my company. Not particularly. Okay, I don't think we have anything else in here. I guess, oh, we could go talk to the receptionist. We could also try talking to the koala lady outside. But I think we're hitting the point where I probably want to solve some clues. Okay. What can you tell me about Laura Angst? Laura needs to chill out. I do love her, but if she keeps living like this, she'll have a heart attack by 23. Ouch. Okay. So apart from going out, yeah, suspects. So, Sophie the Giraffe works as a receptionist. The bear is, let's see, Manfred, and is the branch manager. Laura the cat works as customer service. The crocodile is called Freddy and works as operating office. Now that I had worked out these names, I was ready to check out the crime scene. Let's see where that lunch got stolen from. Then I could finally talk to my client. It's interesting that he doesn't bother to ask anybody their name, like at all, but whatever. All right, let's go check out the kitchen. I'm still loving these, like, as kind of As soon as I entered oh, the kitchen, hello. the comforting waft of cheap white toast entered my nostrils. I 
knew I had to stay strong. This wasn't what I was here for. Stop eating the icing! Can't you wait a couple hours? Margaret, if it wasn't for these pants almost bursting, I'd have this for breakfast every day. Yes, yes, and you can have it and so much more later, when we're done preparing. Okay, so she's Margaret something. Cancelled. Oh, some kind of Halloween event. Halloween party. Hungry. Get your own lunch. Well, I guess this is the final clue. I want to see what the other ones are. Boy, I'm hungry too. Working or looking for editor unpaid. And then uh Laura and Sophie just being cool. Office parties are a bad idea anyway. They stop no doing idea. Them at the precinct after the uh jam incident. Gross. I doubt they washed their hands after leaving that greasy handprint. Okay, so what do we got? RS. Thanks for the food. Greasy, sharp claws. Salami bandit. Huh. So he leaves a n note? That's awful. There we go. Note thief. Why would you announce yourself, too? So, this must be the crime scene. This note is curious. Okay. Do we have the name Margaret yet? I guess we'll have to talk to her. Tanline divorced. Oh. An Ian. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Anything else? There's 100% something else. Like, that's always the case. There's a third clue. Oh, there it is. Impeccable hair. Well groomed. So here's the question. Can I... Okay, no. We have to talk to them before I can apply names. Oh, that's fine. What? A penguin with fingers. Weird. Sticker. Sci-fi fan. Yeah. Ooh. Fancy shoes. Worker shoes. Practical person. I don't even... Nope. I don't, I don't even do this kind of work and I wear practical shoes like that. It's better. Alright, let's talk. Dishwashers broke it again. What's wrong with these youngsters? Don't know how to treat things with respect. Why would they put the mugs in face up? Okay, so I haven't heard too much on him. Yes, dear. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, detective, and I need to ask some questions. A detective? How exciting! What's the most gruesome murder you've seen? How many dead bodies have you encountered? Uh. Five little pigs teething turtles. Let's go teething turtles. I almost died that one time when I got myself into trouble with the teething turtles mafia. That incident taught me to stay away from beautiful ladies in red. Did they break your kneecaps? Huh? No! You can see that I can walk just fine. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we can ask about them too. Let's ask about Do you this know first. Anyone here who could have hired me? Hmm. To be honest, everyone was quite shocked by the lunch theft. And no one told me they've called a detective. I don't know what's going on at all. Wow, drama. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? She doesn't have the easiest life, you know. She just had a terrible breakup with her ex. But don't tell anyone. And now that information is public to the whole office, I'm sure. Can you tell me anything about Laura Engst? Oh, she's such a hardworking girl. I heard she secretly studies for her online bachelor's during work. You need to keep this a secret, though. Pure gossip. 
Okay. Do you get along with Manfred Ernst? <sighs> He's a stubborn one. I do respect that. Would you say you enjoy Freddy Frederson's, um, company? Huh. If anyone needs to learn to respect their elders, it's that moron. I'm a private detective, and I'm here to investigate a case. Is that so? I need to find my client. Do you know who it could be? Uh, Freddy's a bit of a weird one, so I'd imagine you were called detective. Personally, I feel we're doing just fine. and don't need no messing about our business around here. You'd think a sci-fi fan would be cool about detectives. I would be. Okay, so now that we've gotten to this, can we actually... ...give these characters names? Because they're definitely Rufus. Wow, there's only so many... Uh, let's see, there's only so many names available. They're not... Oh, wait, no, Rufus Sedaris. Margaret Whitlock? And whoever this is, is the last one. Probably in the server room. Hmm. Maybe I should leave the dishwasher broken for a bit. <laughs> That'll teach them a lesson. I wonder how much dialogue I'm gonna miss here. What is your relationship with Margaret Whitlock? Ah, oh, she's a true sweetheart. We have our weekly Mahjong evenings. There's just so much dialogue you can probably cycle through with these characters. I'll probably miss like half of it. Are you getting along with Rufus Sedaris? You know, the two of us are from the older generation. Which means we understand each other well. He is quite harsh towards the younger ones though. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. We've looked at the crime scene. I guess we did... Uh, I'm going to look at it again, seeing as they had that greasy handprint with claws. Gross. I doubt they washed their hands. Yeah, okay. It doesn't look like there's more I can do about it. Okay, can I go outside? I can go outside. All right. I think that's our last person. Bus driver, I suppose. The cold air ruffled my feathers. And I wondered what kind of sorry soul was standing all alone in the rain. Why are there all of these backpacks? Like, that's one thing I don't get. There was a ton of them out in front, too. Yeah, backpacks and bottles. What is this thing? Someone left their bag here. Ugh. It's full of dirty chim clothes. Adding this to the case files. Duffel bag. Get. Alright. Well-proportioned nose. Handsome. Huh. It's rare that you would see... I'm assuming they're supposed to be like a musk ox or something. Or like a yak. Boris. Hands in pockets, bad manners. Huh. Okay, so no, there. I guess we have to talk hey, to them man, first. This isn't the bus stop. You'll have to walk south to the central bus station. What? I'm not here to take a bus. Okay, so now we can do. They're Boris Petrovich, of course. Oh, it's cold out, but if I go inside. I have to face Sophie. Huh. Hey, man, this isn't... You'll have to walk... So what? I'm not here to Doesn't take Doesn't want to face Sophie. Oh, messy breakup with her ex. Do you know anything about this bag? Oh, it's really strange. Things in it disappeared. And others appeared. Very suspicious. What are you even talking about? Is this your bag? No. Oh, everyone here is being really unhelpful. I'm investigating a case here at Bearbus. Oh, uh, do you mean the lunch that got stolen? Exactly. 
You know who called me? Nah, too busy minding my own business. I don't talk much with the customer service folks. What do you know about Rufus Sedaris? I don't think he likes me very much, to be honest. But then, doesn't feel like he likes anyone at this office. Hmm. Except for Margaret, I guess. Do you think they have a thing going on? <sighs> I don't work here. I thought you were a detective. Do you, um, like Freddy Frederson? He's a pretty funny dude. Loves to rant about detective novels. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? <sighs> Man, I wish she'd let me talk to her. Okay. Doesn't look like we have any other major clues here. We can only ask him about one more thing. I'm almost wondering if this, like, I'm just going to be able to crack this case in one video. Uh, let's see. Okay, might as well ask. Nope, doesn't have anything new. Did I check this? It's a list draft? of all the bus, the most busy. Oh, bu busy as Petrovich. Okay, so we've actually got a couple. Is this your bag? Huh? No, mine's over there. The one with all the salami? <laughs> yeah. Why do you need so much salami? That's not mine. It was just there. A really nice surprise. Do you get along with Boris Petrovich? He's a chill guy. I take the bus sometimes to go to bouldering conventions, and then we get to chat. What can you tell me about Margaret Whitlock? She gets really angry with me when I don't return mugs to the kitchen. Um, why don't you just return them? I do! Uh, just not every day. I, yeah, no kidding. Dude's... Dude's got, what, three or four next to him? Including Laura's rude guy. Okay. How are you getting on with Margaret Whitlock? She's sweet and all, but she can't keep her mouth shut. It seems like the office knows more about my personal life than me. What kind of a person is Boris Petrovich? Ugh, I don't know what I saw in him. I mean, I guess he's good looking, but my God, is he boring? Ouch. Okay, so we might actually be able to solve some things. More suspects. So, Margaret is a sheep, works in also customer service. Penguin is Rufus, works as the janitor. And Boris is the buffalo that works as the bus driver. Now that I had everyone's name and job, it would be easier to figure out what was going on. Okay, the client. So lunch was stolen by a co-worker known as the Salami Bandit. Who? Because that's if somebody steals my lunch again. My assumption is it's Laura. Let's see. We don't have anything else to ask. I guess I guess I can just be wrong. Nope, I was right. So it was Laura who called me. I needed to discuss the case with her. You're my client? Why didn't you tell me? Can I put you on hold for a second? Ugh, what? Well, you should have told me you're the duck detective. What are you? I'm a duck. I'm wearing a trench coat. So is Freddy getting fired or what? <sighs> I'm uh, working on it. Ugh, it can't be that hard. Sorry, I'm back. Yes, let me walk you through the booking process. It was time that I found out what happened with the lunch theft and what they were planning in the kitchen. Okay, so the kitchen. So, nope, not Manfred. Margaret. Margaret is planning a surprise birthday 
party. For Sophie. That was Margaret easy. Margaret was planning a surprise birthday party for Sophie. I see. <laughs> he didn't actually forget her birthday. Okay, the culprit. Freddy is being... Framed by... Wait. Okay, Freddy, Freddy's being framed by... Boris? Because Freddy picked up... Okay. Maybe it's not bag. Wrong lunch. What if it's Manfred? No. Okay, suspicious scene. Hungry. Bag, email, lunch, X. Hmm. This is some hella conjecture. You know what? I think we gotta go talk to Manfred, because we haven't asked him about a couple of things. Because we already have the clues in place. We could solve it by shuffling things around, but that feels bad. What can you tell me about Boris Petrovich? He's uh, not the most reliable worker, uh, but it's difficult finding replacements nowadays. What is Rufus Sedaris like? Uh, not the greatest janitor, but he came with the building. Okay, that's not helpful. So who's the character that was messy? Okay, right. The bad habit dedicated. They were the one that was kind of messy because of that. Bad manners and handsome. Yeah, two or fewer being... I mean, it's probably this. Not Laura. Because it's got to be the wrong lunch, maybe. Because it wouldn't be a surprise. Oh, there we go. There's our answer. It was as I thought. Freddy Fredersen was actually being framed. <laughs> this office wasn't as boring as it looked. I wish there was actually like a better when clue Freddy for me to figure that out. Bus back. And he went to pick up his luggage. He must have picked up the wrong bag. This happened because there was another bag that's identical to his. The bag that he picked up belonged to... The Salami Bandit! This made him a target. And to get rid of Freddy, the Salami Bandit decided to frame him. Everyone! It's time for you know what? No, I guess it actually makes sense. I just wasn't putting two and okay. two together. Get into position. I just texted her, so she should be here in. Huh? What's this? Surprise! Surprise! Oh, oh, surprise! Uh, no way. This is all for me. Huh? A letter? Ugh. Oh. Salami? What a terrible present. No, you silly idiot! The real present got stolen and switched for salami! It's the Salami Bandit! I saw an awful lot of high-grade salami in Fredrickson's bag. And now there's no question who the perpetrator is. I've been telling you all along, we can't trust Fredersen. By the end of the day, he'll be fired. Mark my words. Drama. Seems like a bit of an overreaction to a present being stolen. Or is there more to it? 
Okay, so the presence. Okay, so... Sophie receives the following presence. Something got stolen. We don't know what got stolen yet. Somebody gave her a plushie, a book, a necklace. We also have the message and the business. Let's take a look at the clues first. It's a heart-shaped necklace. Probably hmm. Laura. Looks tacky. Maybe. No. Someone gifted Sophie a plushie. It says limited edition. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, uh, heart shape. It's got to be Boris that sent the necklace. Long book. Okay, hold up. Sexy Aliens Want My Number by Sulfur Sufer Sarides. Captain Brightbeak stared deep into the alien's eyes. There were 12 of them, and they were red. The eyes, not the aliens. The aliens were blue. And there were 43. All of them wore shiny metal armor, which shined like something shiny made out of curved metal. <laughs> this is tacky. The lead alien stepped forward. Captain Brightbeak could tell it was the lead alien because it was the one that stepped forward. It was also the most beautiful, the only one with purple eyes. It made a noise that sounded a bit like talking from a hole that looked a bit like a pretty lady's mouth. The translation device from the captain had in uh, the translation device that the captain had invented word into action translating the words into words he could understand. Hey, you look cute, a mechanical voice whispered into his ear. Can I get your number? Wow. This is probably Margaret. This is probably Margaret's gift, especially because the clue. Now it did pop up earlier with another thing. Oh, I see. Questionable title, adult novel. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> what did I just read? Salami. Salami Bandit. Buongiorno, everyone. Not just Sophie. Weird message. Quite unbelievable. I entered the office, really. Really easily. Sayonara, edgelords. I kind of hope it actually... I wonder what the purpose of that letter is. I kind of hope it just loops around and is just Freddy again. That goofball framed himself. Okay, so we've already done that. There's no more clues to be had from that. And we've already got everything from there. <laughs> It'll be okay. You have the duck detective here to figure everything out. <laughs> uh -huh. What can you possibly do? Leave me alone. That's not nice at all. Who messes with someone's birthday? Do you think she liked my present? I mean, now she's crying, but... I think I saw a sparkle in her eyes when she opened mine. I should really get back to work. Do you think? Okay, I so mean, no new dialogue. I, I, I kind of wish it was I actually a little really bit more get... obvious if there was something new. Can you tell me something about this letter? Sophie won't even talk to me about it. I don't know what to do. Do you know whose bag this is? Isn't that... Freddy's? I wish he could follow up and say, well, there's two bags. Okay, we can't ask her, her about anything. Contrary to popular belief, most ducks don't file their taxes. I mean, that's fair. Do you know anything about this bag? Why are you going around pushing bags into people's faces? Ugh, what's that awful smell? It's, uh, dirty gym clothes. What do you think about this letter? Hm. People don't know how to write letters by hand anymore. What's with the weird line breaks? S 
So... What happens to the cake now? Of course. This still has the salami in it, though. Huh. They, they really think I've done it! Duck Detective, you have to help me! You, you, you know it wasn't me, right? Did you not think it was strange that your bag was full of salami? Uh, I don't know. I thought someone gave me a salami surprise. I'll eat salami sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from now on. Okay, we've already asked him about that stuff. We haven't gone to the... Oh, ducks are named after Sir Jeffrey Duck, and... Ah, it goes by too fast. My computer is too powerful. Hopefully there's a place where you can actually read all of the, uh... The tidbits. Boy, the boss disappeared quick. He just immediately went back to his office. Do you know anything about this letter? Well, it's obviously a cheap prank by Frederson. Only he would find this funny. I'm guessing you're ready to present legal evidence of Frederson's misconducts. It wasn't Frederson. Everything is pointing towards him. I will present the true culprit soon enough. Well, I don't really care how long it takes you. This will be Frederson's last day. Poor guy. Sort of. So we do actually have enough. So we might be able to solve presents. So, <clears throat> Boris gave her the necklace, Margaret gave the book, and Laura gave the plushie. Something got stolen. Cake. Cake got stolen. Did it not? Hold up. We gotta go back. Because, unless it was letters, letters got stolen. Cause not bag, not books. Cake letters? No. You know what? We gotta go we gotta go talk to Boris. Oh. This is new. Personal items worth worth less than five hundred schmarks. Allowed goods. Customs procedures for passengers entering from the western border. What? Huh. Notify the local police about suspicious activity. Prohibited goods. Weapons. Plants. Books not in the interests of the eastern states. Ten, ten trombones. Potatoes. Luggage will be checked at the bus station. For more information, visit Brazil de Customs. What do they have against potatoes? <sighs> Maybe it was too romantic. Did Sophie ask about me? Um, she didn't. Ah, I see. Maybe I should have gotten her something more expensive. Life's just not going so well right now. I lost all my hockey bets, too. Okay, so we don't have anything to ask him. Life's just... I lost all my hockey... Okay, and we don't have anything else. Interesting the detail. Okay, so the message. I... I swear I'm missing some things, because blank received a blank that contained a blank, blank. And it's probably, if I had a guess, received a... something. A romantic necklace that contained a... Yeah, three more things are wrong. I was thinking that. Maybe scary letter that contained a... Hmm. Two or fewer, so scary was correct. So it's not scary. Hmm. 
We don't know this one. But she received something. We should probably go ask her about it. She just didn't say much the last time. Like, it feels like I'm missing dialogue and just skipping stuff because... Uh, I can just... Guess? Because it's not this letter. Because that's a weird message. I can't ask her about oh. anything. What? Oh. And she just says, what should I do? Like, the problem is I can't talk too deeply about any it's of these. It's a heart. <laughs> Looks... Tacky heart shaped Someone necklace. Gift. It says... Limited edition plushie. It's gotta be these. Oh, you know what? Let's go check that computer. We might actually be able to crack it open at this point. Ducks are the only bird that can fly backwards. What? That can't be real. Me and sexy aliens. Shiny... Armored... Wait... Purple, purple-eyed alien. There we go. I cracked it. Let's see what secret she has on her computer. Delete everything, what? Okay. West VPN, secret cake recipes. Never gonna give you up, of course. Eternal vouchers for CS. Agents, vacation. Alien cutie. So. Who is this person she's messaging? I mean, Rufus, clearly. Okay, so we also have the business. Salamis are being illegally imported From Brazil. No, not Brazil. Not Hollandaise. Salacia? There we go. That explains all the high grade salami. I just needed to find out who was behind this. So that one I could put together. The message. Sophie received a scary. I mean, probably message. No. Letter was correct. It's available, but yeah. So it's probably message. Hmm. I mean, probably nice letter. Romantic message. No, really. Romantic letter. Silly message. Nice message? Huh. Unless it's not so Sophie. No, it's, it's definitely Sophie. Yeah, it's really... I don't know. Because the problem is... I don't know what it is. Uh, this just kind of showed up. Unless I'm wildly mistaken. Because that's the birthday letter. But that's not it? Unless I can ask about, like, physical clues and I've just been completely skipping that this entire time. No, I totally can. And I totally have. Because we can't ask about, like, any of these. Hmm. Who have I not questioned? No? I'm kind of tapped out. Detective work isn't easy. Other details. The thing that bothered me in particular was... Message. Presence? The best way to figure out who gave what. Haven't I seen a plushie like that? Also, there's something funny about the author's name. I should look at it again. Oh. About the stolen pre Once I figure out the intention of the... Okay, that... That is actually a good point. Sufer Cerides. Huh. 
Huh. Oh, it's a Darius. So Rufus gave the book. Yeah, haven't I seen something like that before? Who else has the plushie? Yeah, maybe I'm just barking up the wrong tree because I wasn't very observant. That is an interesting point to be made here. Yeah, he wouldn't have the plushie. That actually would have been cute if he did. Because yeah, I don't see the plushie here. Where have I seen that plushie before? She already has one on her desk. Okay, Boris definitely gave that. Huh. Oh, you know what? It's probably not the letters that got stolen. Nothing got stolen. So, nothing got stolen after all. It seemed that the salami present was intentional. Huh. But how would we know nothing got stolen? That's... No. So that's... This is definitely correct. Yeah, so this this is definitely message. So letter and message are correct. And it's definitely Sophie here. So it's really just the adjectives that are the issue. Or, yeah. Unless it's not. What if it is Margaret? No. It's definitely Sophie. So it's really just the adjectives that have to get flipped in. Nice letter, romantic message, no. Scary message, no. Silly message. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go for... Detective the problem is, work isn't easy. Some of these are kind of interchangeable in a bad way. The thing that bothered me in particular was... Have things changed? I have new evidence. I need to make sure I... Okay, Detective no, that's not work it. isn't easy. Ponder details. The thing that bothered me in particular message. was... This doesn't look like a straightforward message. I wonder if there is... I need oh, to analyze. I'm a goofus. Let's take a look at it again. B E. What? Why are our... Okay. Why is the B and E underlined? I don't believe... There's nothing else I can look at. Like, the part that's confusing me is just like... I don't know, I can't read into it? And maybe I'm just a, a dingus. I'm sure this is going to be one of those where somebody's like, I solved this ages ago, you goofus. Because it's a silly letter that contained a scary message. Of course, that's it. Sophie was receiving threats. I needed to find out why. The mystery of the salami bandit was slowly getting unraveled. Yep. I just Western was not reading it. Western goods are prohibited from entering and being sold in the East. This is why the salami bandit decided to make a business out of buying high-grade salami in the West. Smuggling it to the East. And selling it at a high profit. Also, for some reason, Sophie received a letter from the Salami Bandit that had a hidden, threatening message.
be quiet or this else. This was serious. I had to question all of the employees. I probably shouldn't be recording this at night. Thanks for coming, everyone. Well, everyone except for Sophie. Where is she? Slacking off. Playing on her computer phone, like usual. She's having problems with her family. She was at her desk and said she needed a moment. <clears throat> I will start then regardless. I have made my deductions and drawn some serious conclusions. Oh, finally! Is Freddy getting fired then? Who is the murderer? I... What? No one died! I'm getting framed! I'm telling you! What a load of baloney. He... is... right, actually. He is getting framed. What? Why would anyone bother? Ah, that is the question, isn't it? Why would anyone bother? Get to the point! It's through my observations that I uncovered... A conspiracy. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why are we still listening to a random duck that waddled into this office? I'm leaving. I'm a certified private investigator and... It's okay. Just tell us what you know. <sighs> Salami is being smuggled from Salsitia. Using your very own buses. Huh? What's going on? Okay, this is going too far. I really have more important things to do. Now that is really scandalous! D does that mean we're losing our jobs? Uh... Maybe. Listen, everybody! It's really important that no one leaves the premises. Ugh. I need to get back to work. Oh, everybody's leaving? <sighs> I'm still here, Mr. Duck Detective. For a society that limits the sale of goods from Salsitia, I don't know why I called it Salatia in the bat in the past. Did I even call it that or did I think that? I have no idea. This is getting intense, isn't it? Maybe you could need a little help? You seem lonely. I could be your assistant. What do you want me to do? D uh, decipher messages? Talk someone into telling us the truth? Follow people around? I'm pretty good at that. Just stay here like this yep you're doing great okay like for society that does actually have that kind of like trade good lockdown uh you'd actually kind of expect that yeah so hollandaise we're in brazil and salsicia interesting uh, he said that they don't go too far, but to have such a lockdown, especially on goods, even to the point where salami is maybe illegal, like, how illegal is this? Probably not. This game's too cute for that, but I like the idea of it having, like, actually a kind of dark and maybe totalitarian... Oh, she's not here anymore. This folder says, Manual for CS Agents. How and when to create vouchers correctly? I'm falling asleep just reading the title. Can the OO clean their desk? I can smell it from here. So Laura doesn't like him because his desk is stinky. Okay. So, is he serious? What a dumb pen name. It's just his name backwards. Oh, that's awful. He gave a book to her as a gift, and they were making fun of it. 
You definitely don't want to be Laura's enemy. They kind of suck, actually. Okay. And we still don't know where Sophie is. Though they're... Okay. I'm going to leave us here. I want to solve this. However, uh, I will also say that uh, I shouldn't give away the whole goose. Uh, the, I think we're kind of on the final act for this game, which is uh, actually also kind of big. It looks like we've got quite a lot of clues to get, grab. I'm sure I'm just going to have to go talk to a bunch of people. But effectively, yeah, somebody's uh, forcing Sophie to be quiet about the salami business by threatening her-ish. Uh, but we will have to put some more time into that. Uh, but what I was going to say as part of this is I don't want to give away the whole goose because, you know, if I do, then... I'm kind of taken away from the devs. That's always something I, I have trouble with with these games. Like, how much do you show? How much of the game are you giving away? And how much should I kind of hold back so that people who want to pick up and play the game can actually, you know, give it a shot? Luckily, this game is dirt cheap. Hey, oh, cool. So we can actually see that there's like a bunch of things. He's in the parking lot this time. And why are they in the office? I, you know what? Yeah, oh, the boss is off. There's all sorts of things. If I actually checked that map, that probably would have been useful. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, let's see. So with all this said, Duck Detective is available now on uh, both PC and Switch, if you want to pick it up and play it yourselves. Uh, like I was going to say, it's 10 bucks, which is uh, pretty inexpensive. So if you want to finish this off or maybe have a smoother time solving things than me, or even find some clues that I somehow missed, because uh, I'm sure I missed at least a couple. There's some conjecture that almost is kind of like working backwards once you know the full story. It's like, oh, that makes sense, but it kind of required some leaps of logic on my part. But it might also be because I'm hungry or tired or something. Who knows? It's been a day. I Oh, we can climb. We can climb the desk. <laughs> we can rabble rouse. <laughs> all right. Anyway, uh, with all of this said, if you like this video in any way, shape or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.